What's up everyone, Jack from Grilla Tactical here. Uh, we talk a lot about tactical gear, we showcase a lot of full kit, training in full kit, and all that stuff's really cool and really great. Um, but, you know, one of the things we wanted to talk more about as we, you know, work on a YouTube channel this year, um, and giving, bringing you guys more content and more, uh, more training tips, is actual real world scenarios. Um, so, what we're going to talk about today is a little bit different than what we've done before, and it's uh, like a counter... Uh, ambush kind of defensive from your vehicle. Um, there's a bunch of things that we could go over about this. We could talk about this for hours on end and we could show many different angles and many different drills that you could run around your vehicle. But today we're going to talk about one basic thing. Um, I'm going to run you through kind of what you do as the driver uh, in the driver's seat. If you were to be, let's say, out for a drive, you're at a stoplight, you're parked in a parking lot, and all of a sudden you see you know, some sort of threat coming your way, some sort of bad guy with a gun, whatever that means. Uh, this is going to talk a little bit about how to act defensively and what can be done from inside your vehicle to counter this attack. Um, one of the things that I really want to point out and to, to really keep in mind for you all is that your vehicle is your number one getaway. Um, so this is defensive primarily defensive we're talking here. We're not talking about attacking anyone. We're not talking about uh, being on the offense. We're talking about if you cannot get out of the situation and you need to defend yourself, then this is these are the steps you want to take to be able to do that. Um, but if you're in your vehicle and you can safely drive away from the scene, get out of there. That's the first line of defense. But let's pretend that we can't. We can't get away. We're in traffic, whatever. That's where we're going to take it from now. So I'm going to get in the vehicle. I'm going to be running my side-by-side -side, uh, Glock 19 everyday carry, uh, kind of plain street clothes and we'll run it like that. So let me show you what we got. And uh, just so everyone's on the same page, today for this we're running Glock 19, fully cleared out, clear magazines. Same thing here. So it's gonna be a dry run drill uh, for today. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna see the threat. I'm gonna call loudly and clearly threat left. Then my foot is gonna go, left foot's gonna go to the dead pedal. My right foot's gonna go on the brake. I'm going to thrust my hips out, and when I do that, I'm going to grab everything, seatbelt, sweatshirt, jacket, whatever I'm wearing, I'm going to pull it well out of the way, all of it, out of the way. There, that's when I'm going to reach in, I'm going to draw my pistol, body goes back down, I'm going to come up over the dash and shift over. Again, left foot into the dead pedal, right foot into the brake, bracing my legs against the seat. I'm going to position my body this way. I'm going to have put my left shoulder into the back of the seat. I'm going to present my pistol right on target. One, two, three, four, five shots on threat. I'm going to bring my pistol back in, always keeping an eye on where my muzzle is. Always keeping away from me. I don't want to flag myself. I don't want to flag anyone else in the vehicle. Now, everybody knows how to take their seatbelt off, sure. But when the adrenaline's pumping, it's easy to fumble with your seatbelt. So the easiest way to get out of your seatbelt as quickly as possible is your left hand is going to come right to the center of your chest. Your seatbelt's always going to be there. So right to the center of the chest. I'm going to follow that down quickly to the buckle. I'm going to unclip. I'm going to come out. I'm going to swim underneath the seatbelt. Always maintaining control of where my muzzle is pointing. Now I'm going to be opening the door, getting out of the vehicle, checking my surroundings, clearing the area and getting away from my vehicle and to some other cover. Throw it left! So hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight into some defensive measures you could take if there's an attacker when you're in the vehicle as a driver, uh, etc. Um, we want you to be able to work on this stuff, practice this stuff, do it with a safe, clear gun. We're going to keep throwing real world scenarios your way. Um, thanks for watching and uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.